Joining us now is the very first person in this country to receive the Pfizer vaccine post-trial. You saw her there in Tom's report. Registered nurse Sandra Lindsay, a critical care nurse at Long Island Jewish Medical Center in Queens. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. So wanted to start out with, it's been several hours since you got your shot. How are you feeling right now? Any immediate side effects? No immediate side effects. I feel great, no different than I feel I felt yesterday this time. No arm pain, no fever. I feel just fantastic. That's good to hear. And of course, you've been on the front lines for months helping to save people's lives. What is it like knowing that you were the first person in the entire country to, to get a dose of this vaccine? I feel hopeful, relieved, um, excited for my colleagues who have been working tirelessly. I am the um, critical care director for the for, for Long, Island, Long Island Jewish Hospital, they are all the ICUs there. And I've seen firsthand the suffering, the pain, the deaths, and how tirelessly my team has been working to take care of patients and saving patients' lives. So I'm just really happy that we have a vaccine that will provide some relief and that will put an end to this pandemic. And how and when did you get selected to be the very first in line? And, and why was it important for you to do so in public? So I volunteered um, to, to take the vaccine. Ever since there were talks of a vaccine, I've been telling my friends and family, my colleagues, that when this does come to fruition, that I would be first in line. I trust the science, um, and so it's important for me to lead by example. What I don't trust is how I will be affected by COVID-19 COVID and how other people that I may potentially um, infect, if I get infected, um, will, will, um, will they survive or will they die? So it's, it was really, really important for me and, to be a part of the solution. And we just saw the picture of you uh, with the sticker holding up uh, the crushing COVID-19, got my vaccine. Uh, our ABC poll out this weekend found that 8 in 10 Americans say that they would take the vaccine, though 44% say that they may wait a bit to take it. What's your message to the Americans who may still be tentative on the if and also the when? My message to those people is that when your time comes around, when that opportunity comes around, and I hope that in the coming months that everybody in this world will be afforded the same opportunity like I had today, don't hesitate. I have seen the other side. It's dark. And so I would um, just say to everyone, please take the vaccine. Please listen to the signs and let the signs guide your decisions. And you may have the same answer to this question, but of course we've seen that skepticism is even greater in the black community in part because of our history with the Tuskegee experiment. Why did you trust the vaccine enough to go first in this country? So as a registered nurse, my practice is guided by science. That coupled with what I have seen and witnessed firsthand and I also know among my community that there is skepticism, as you mentioned, because of the history. So I think it was important for me to, to get the vaccine and so that I can be an inspiration to those people who are on the fence or, or who are skeptics um, about taking, skeptical about taking the vaccine. And you've talked about this as well, but of course, you know, in this dark year, your hospital in Queens has seen some of the very worst of this pandemic, but also filled with the very best of us, brave nurses and doctors like yourself. Earlier today, you said, I feel like healing is coming. What gives you that hope tonight? That I, I got the vaccine in my arm. I got the vaccine in my arm. And so I feel a huge sense of, sense of relief. I feel that public safety and public health will be restored. Although we are far away, um, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. And just the last question for you, when do you have to go back to get the second dose? 
in 21 days or so, um, I will get the second dose. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Sandra Lindsay, and for your continued bravery and all that you continue to do. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.